Well, we wanted to understand the many changes that are happening, that are happening in supply chains the last uh, five years or ten years. Uh, the uh, issues of resorting and which side of the debate uh, has more data, it was very clear to us that there wasn't enough data for that to be answered. Uh, but there are, a lot more other, uh, there are a lot of other issues that we would like to look at. What is the role of China in global supply chains? Uh, how much investment in manufacturing is happening in different regions of the world? And uh, what are the drivers that are coming into making these manufacturing location decisions that we wanted to have a much more clear answer? So we felt like the data was not there available. The data at the broad macro level was not telling us what was happening at the company level what executives were thinking, what uh, trade-offs and considerations were coming into play. And there was no way that we could use the consulting data that was available out there. Uh, didn't have the level of rigor, didn't have the level of scope, and definitely had a certain bias, as one would expect. So we decided that we had to pull our university resources together and try to create our own data. And that's what we did. Seven uh, world-class universities came together. In, in an effort uh, to uh, engage many companies and executives at the right level to give us answers with respect to where is the sourcing of our production happening in the world today. And that is the main motivation. The data set is really rich. It allows us within the data set uh, to uh, say what we believe is happening in that particular data set with, of course, extrapolation that we believe it might be happening at uh, the general level. And uh, we are very happy. It took a lot of commitment. It took a lot of investment. And it took universities uh, like uh, Wharton University of Pennsylvania, uh, Stanford, and uh, their global supply chain forum there, of course, our uh, business uh, Boeing Center for Supply Chain Innovation at Western University in St. Louis. Um, we also worked uh, with uh, Santa Clara University, that they have very good connections in the Silicon Valley area, and uh, the uh, Georgetown, their business school and their global logistics center. And we needed also international par partners with uh, very strong connections. And we found a great uh, partner in Japan, Kobe University, and a great partner in uh, Germany and Europe, uh, that's uh, WHU, uh, the Koblenz uh, School of Management. So those resources generated a really very useful data set that we now have analyzed and we have a lot of insights.